the conversation I've had this morning with Prime Minister Cornell paints a brighter future because between me and him and our security people, we believe the situation in Haiti is winnable. And we are asking the international community to match their commitment, their pledges, with the necessary action for us to be able to complete the task ahead of us. Kenya and Haiti, therefore, stand united in calling on the international community to urgently rally behind this mission. And the operation word here is urgently. We have a window of success that is evident from the operations that have been carried out already. And without wasting time, when resources are made available, there will be demonstrable progress on securing critical infrastructure, critical spaces for people to return to their homes. I must congratulate the President of El Salvador, who a few days ago signed into this um, program and is providing critical support. I will be speaking to him later for us to build a bigger collaboration with Bahamas, CARICOM, Canada, and of course the US in driving this multinational security support mission towards the intended mission that we all set out to achieve. The adoption by the UN Security Council of Resolution 2751 on 30th September 2024, extending the term of the multinational security support mission by another one year, signals strong global support. But however, words and pledges must be merged by concrete action. We therefore strongly implore our global partners to accelerate their contribution to the personnel, logistics, and financial resources necessary to sustain, expand, and complete this mission.